So, Frédéric Bonfils, I'm uh, leading the alliance management function within uh, Pierre Fabre, a mid sized pharma company, um, working in the pharma for 30 years now, 15 in uh, big pharma, Sanofi Aventis, and since a bit less than 15 years within Pierre Fabre. And we initiated the alliance management process and team uh, five years ago. Well, the alliance manager should spend his time on the top priorities for the company, and I mean short term and long term. So, and this is the first thing that I did when uh, taking this position. The first thing is to do a, a, a tiering of the different partnerships. Uh, objective being to focus energies on these strategic alliances and to deprioritize non-strategic assets. Uh, at Pierre Fab, we have implemented a tiering which is done not only by the alliance management but with the support of the sponsors of the various partnerships and it's based on four scales opportunities of the partnership finance impacts risk and complexity and this tiering needs to be constantly updated when you have uh, new partnerships of course well to, to, to make it short you, you need to anticipate if the if the strategy of your company is to move from an in-house R&D towards partnered innovation, you have to uh, anticipate that you are going to need some alliance management resources and alliance ma an alliance manager to be fully operational, to train, to know the alliance, it's six months to one year. So you should anticipate your needs. Uh, as a lot of people know, uh, even if the, the role of the alliance manager is to manage the relation with external partners, we spend all more than 50% of our time aligning internally our teams uh, on the project. So internal communication is really key. Um, also, the people need to understand your alliance processes they need to understand the tiering that you have done and why uh, and how you are going to focus uh, on the strategic alliances. Um, this is why your tiering should be done regularly, validated at the C-suite level. Uh, and after that, regarding non-strategic uh, partnerships, you should keep a, an eye on it. And at PIRFAB, we have uh, uh, one yearly review meeting when we review all contracts from all partners uh, to make sure that we meet all the contract provisions and that finance, marketing, operations, legal, everybody is aligned. Generally speaking, those uh, Marcus Evans conference I'm very positive and it's not the first time that I attend. Uh, it's an, first an exchange of uh, information, experiences, tips and tricks, uh, tools. So you exchange a lot and the fact that uh, we are back face to face uh, is, uh, is really a good news. Uh, it's also a training, clearly. Um, it's also some time that you spend out of the daily rush to think about uh, what is said in the room, how you can apply it uh, uh, within your company, if it is uh, possible to do it. And finally, um, it's networking. And I've got two cases when we had new partnerships uh, uh, to start, and we had the chance to, uh, uh, to have met before with uh, the other alliance manager. And so it's easy to, to start new alliances.